Thank you. I know you're having a busy morning, so thanks for joining us. The 8th of July 2015 is a date that you've been planning for and looking forward to for a long time. How do you feel this morning? Yeah, it's been at least nine months in the planning. We've met every week for nine months, uh, along with our partners, the Welsh Government, Cardiff City Council and uh, ECB. And we're all really excited. Uh, you know, I think we're, we're well prepared uh, and look, looking forward to what is an iconic uh, sporting event. Hugh, on Sunday or on Monday, all of the supporters, the teams and a lot of the media will leave Cardiff and leave Wales. What do you hope their memories and reflections are looking back on the test? First and foremost, I really hope they've had a, a really enjoyable day. Um, they've really enjoyed the ground, uh, the entertainment that we've put on. Uh, they've seen some great cricket and they want to come back to the SSE Swaylek. Uh, you know, that would be you know, a, a great achievement for us. Hugh, big events like this, obviously you need to bring together teams from everything from hospitality to catering staff to ground staff to commercial um, and get them all working cohesively and working hard. Uh, how have you done that here at the SSC Swalek? I think um, in many regards it's very easy because when you have a, a, an event of this magnitude, uh, everybody is really excited by it. Uh, our vision at the club is to make Wales proud, make Wales proud of what we do on the field and make Wales proud of what we do off the field. And I can think of no better occasion for us to do that than to host an Ashes uh, Test match here. The first Ashes Test match of a great series. Um, all the staff are really looking forward to it. They've put in many, many hours in uh, recent months. They'll have uh, five sleepless nights, obviously, over the next five days. But I, everybody's really looking forward to it and excited by it. Hugh, just one last question. I spoke to Dean Koska this morning, obviously 12th man, Glamorgan spin bowler. I asked him if it was a bowl first pitch and didn't get an answer. Would I not get an answer from you on that? No, I'll be, uh, I'll be similarly evasive. Uh, look, all I'm hoping is that I know, I know that uh, Keith Exton and his ground staff here have worked very hard in preparing this pitch. Uh, I think the ground looks fantastic. And uh, if we get anything like as good a test match as we did six years ago here that went down to the final ball of the final day, we'll be very, very happy. Thank you. Thanks for your time. We'll catch up with you later in the test.